It's raining again. How Victor Lindelof must have sighed as he touched down in Manchester Airport to a predictable shower from the heavens after a week away in his homeland last week. Much of the focus of the run-up to those World Cup qualifiers against Luxembourg and the Netherlands was on Lindelof's lack of playing time, with Sweden manager Jana Andersson admitting it was frustrating. An unfortunate handball in the 20 defeat in Amsterdam did little to help matters after his hooked clearance inadvertently struck his right arm as he dealt with Victor Janssen's header. But that has not got Lindelof down. Within days, he was back out on the supermarket run in Hale Barnes with his fiancée, Major, ahead of United's short trip down the M62 to Liverpool. The spotlight was back on Lindelof during Sweden's 20 defeat versus the Netherlands that fixture at Anfield was the kind of game Lindelof would have dreamt of when he signed for the club in June but only Eric Bailey's injury opened the door for him. It was just the second time Lindelof had made United's match day squad for a league game since his £30.7 million move from Benfica, which may have surprised even him. But centre-back is one of the more difficult positions to immediately hit the ground running in the Premier League and Mourinho addressed the situation within weeks of Lindelof's arrival. Manchester United's James Wilson open to January loan move it is a fairly unique issue for Mourinho Ricardo Carvalho, a notoriously poor trainer, may have been benched for three of his first six games after joining Chelsea but he quickly formed a brilliant partnership with John Terry. But, unlike the Henrik Mkhitaryan situation, doubts have not been allowed to fester with Mourinho using the recurring mantra of easing Lindelof in step-by-step -step amid the imperious form of Bailly and Phil Jones. It has meant that Lindelof has had to bide his time in his first five months at Old Trafford. After three starts in pre-season, Lindelof came in for the UEFA Super Cup clash with Real Madrid because of Eric Bailly and Phil Jones' suspensions. Lindelof made his debut in the Super Cup defeat to Real Madrid but he did not play again until 35 days later and, tellingly, it was again in Europe which should not come as a surprise. Firstly, the Swede has vast experience of playing in Europe's most prestigious club competition, with Benfica, and, secondly, his skill set is well suited to games on the continent. Shackling Ricky van Wolfswinkel and Fyodor Shalov is a little more straightforward than keeping tabs on, say, Jamie Vardy or Roberto Firmino as United's other defenders have in the Premier League this season. Going forward, too, Lindelof's game is again more suited in the Champions League. For all the talk about his quality in possession Lindelof hit some brilliant, trademark lofted through balls against Basel what really sets him apart is his ability to pick a forward's pocket with a deft interception. Lindelof looked fairly comfortable versus CSKA Moscow his remarkable record of just five yellow cards in 73 games for Benfica reflected that composed approach after just 18 months of first-team football at the Portuguese Giants. That proactive style might not pay dividends right away in the Premier League as Lindelof gets used to the intensity and thrust of English football. A 92nd minute appearance against Liverpool is all he has to show for it so far but rather than that being seen as Mourinho, humiliating Lindelof, or simply wasting time, it was designed to give him a very brief flavour. Nothing quite compares to 50,000 scouses booing your name as you enter the field and that is another step forward ahead of Lindelof's return to Benfica where he could again get the nod in Europe. But do not expect fireworks. Against CSKA Moscow, for example, when Lindelof played as a left-side centre-back, there were few daring runs forward to support wing-back Daily Blint. Lindelof, instead, kept it simple with both his distribution and tackling the definition of a 710 performance and the confidence and natural play will come with each game. Starting with Benfica on Wednesday. Get all the latest Manchester United news first with our new app. Download it here now. Manchester United.